You know, this is the first time the whole trip we've been out of earshot of the others. For two days, I've been wanting to be alone with you to tell you something. What, Johnny? Well, I wanted to tell you. Well, you're nice. Nicest girl I ever met. Thanks, Johnny. I, I don't think. I like you, too. What I meant was, if he caught up with us, I'd look out for you. Do you think he's still out there? There's nothing out there but a great empty hunk of prairie. Now. Well, I guess that's all of your gear. Why don't you tell him? Nothing to tell. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to manage with this leg. Well, which one our cook will take care of it. He's pretty good with those things. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Favor, trail boss. You lose control of your horses? Come on, why don't you tell him? Well, yeah. You could say I lost control. Well, we can get you to the nearest town. Won't be too comfortable. What Mr. Favor means is you can ride along with us. Mister? You're a hundred miles from nowhere. That could be a long walk. No offense, young man. Or do they call you Mister, too, out here? What you do is you mind your manners. Cowherd, speaking of manners. Well, uh, what about my, my trunk, Mr. Doan? Where is it, Mr. Van Ryzen? Well, it's right there. The strap's broken. It needs putting together. Would you take care of it? I'll be glad to pay you for your trouble. You got arms and legs, sir. You take care of it. You can't ask Johnny, Mr. Van Ryzen. Two weeks ago, he was a blacksmith. He would have carried an anvil for you. Now he's inherited a farm. You've been getting at me quite a lot, Kenley. Someday I might lose my sense of humor. You tell me when. Ready. Pete, take their horses, put them with the remuda. Got him? This boy that thinks he's a fast gun seems to be looking for trouble. I don't tangle with him, but uh, keep an eye on him, see if he doesn't start anything. That man, I, I heard him ask if we were carrying anything of value. Well, just take with you what you need. You need that? Oh, it's my sample case, sir. Uh, ladies' undergarments, things like that. <laughs> Better let him take it with him, Mr. Favor. A lady there, she <laughs> loses things. Maybe we'd better. Mr. Van Ryzen, you'll just have to take with you what you can carry. What's wrong? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. I just don't like the wilderness out here. Man can't trust it. You should have done what I did, Mr. Van Ryzen. Bought yourself a gun. Where I come from, young man, we have laws to protect people, not guns. Getting pretty good with that new gun, Welp? Well, I've been practicing. Yeah. Whoa! We're forgetting the ladies. Ladies first. So you want to play farmer in the dell, and the farmer takes a wife. You pour any more water on the ground out here, you'll be on your knees lapping up mud. Out there! I told you, the moon's in Capricorn. It's the man with the black satchel. Capricorn. What's the moon got to do with it? It's the worst possible sign. Who is he? Nobody knows. Mr. Van Ryzen, who's the writer? How do I know who he is? I'm all the way from Rhode Island on my way peaceably to Denver. What's the matter with you people? 
Mr. Favor asks you a question. You? What do you know about him? Nothing. He don't bother me like he does the rest. You got money in the box? No. He been following you? You been trying to get away from him? Well, I don't know, Mr. Favor. Yesterday, we were clipping along the overhang road. All of a sudden, we saw him. He was sitting on his horse beside the road, watching us go by. He didn't make no move at all. And yesterday, we saw him on the rim of the prairie. And again this morning. What did you mean, miss, about the moon? I don't want to talk about it. You called him the man with the black satchel. That mean anything to you? To any of you? Well, I... I told him about the executioner only showing up when he's after somebody. Mr. Favor, we're all grateful to you for taking us along. Want me to see you about him, boss? It's open prairie. He's got a right out there. As long as he doesn't bring trouble into us. Pick up what you can carry. Let's get started. Uh, Mr. Favor, I don't think I can walk it on this leg. I sure don't want to be left here alone. Mind staying with him, Rowdy? No, I don't mind. Let's go. Well, Mr. Wishbone ain't saying. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything I'd like. Might not like you either, mister. Thank you. What was that you said about the moon? That means that this is no time for a girl to be thinking about romance. Not while that man with a satchel is out there someplace. meet on the stage two days ago. Mm -hmm. Come a long way? Yes. From the east? A long distance, yes. Well, whereabouts you come from? I, I'd like this kind of work if I were a man. Being in motion, always going. It's the only real freedom. Being in motion on the go. But to some people, freedom's just a word that means alone. I've come into some land, a, a ranch. I want to settle down. She wants to be in motion. All this moving around sounds like you might be running away from something, lady. You know, you're always irritating somebody. First one, then the other. I can take care of it, Sonny. Sometimes a man changes trouble so hard, it catches him. That's right. Yeah, that's funny. I must have dished up one too many. Not this time. Just in time. My name's Favorite, Trail Boss. Jarden. That's right. You know me? Heard of you. Knew it was you when they mentioned the black satchel. Know any of these people?
first. Ain't that what you told me, Farmer? Ladies first. No, thank you. I don't drink coffee. Not scare the cows? No. Who would scared you? Me scared? Kid's been practicing with his new gun. I just want to show him something. Hold it out waist high. You! All right, Johnny boy, if you can make that coin hit the dirt, I'll crawl to the creek and bring back a drink of water for your lady fair over there. I just drop it. The thing is, I don't know just when you'll drop it. Remember that, city boy. You gotta be fast. But also, you've gotta know just when to be fast and where to shoot. Drop it any time. Maybe that's what makes a fast gun, knowing just when. Is that what makes it, Jordan? Isn't that what makes the fastest gun? There's another thing that helps. What's that? The wish to die. Mr. Favor's right, Kenley. Gunfighting's like poker. When you're desperate to win, you lose. You win when you don't give a hoot. Anybody see the salesman leave? Ain't you gonna introduce your guest around, Favor? I think you just met him. You know where the hole is? Smack in the middle. That introduces me. What about you? Ladies and gents, meet Mr. Jordan. Ain't that what he called you? You know who I am? You're a doctor, ain't you? The black satchel shows you're some kind of a doctor. That's a doctor's satchel! 